Alright guys, so the first news of today is early gameplay footage of Hideo Kojima's overdose leaks online. So it has been speculated uh, that the Hideo Kojima's new game Overdose that was made in product that was already in production for a long time. We have a leaked video for this. So uh, this website also claimed that the game seems to be running on a mobile phone. So this might be a good news for the mobile gamers out there. So now we have the Death Stranding released was 2019 and then Kojima was supposed to end his long stint with MGS but then he would not come to fruition since Kojima and his company Kojima Productions left Konami the details of which are still unknown but later it was revealed that Hideo Kojima was working on a horror game dubbed Project Overdose with Margaret Qualley having a starring role in it she had previously portrayed the character Mama in Death Stranding so now the ex pewter leaker has came across a recording of overdose gameplay that had leaked online on steamabel we know that it is in this overdose as the character in this leaked recording can be made out to be margaret Qualley. and now we have this small video and let me just play you a portion of this video i'll give you a link to this in the description so as we can see here we think that this game is running on a mobile phone and the leaker is also speculating that and as you can see this is giving off the Silent Hill vibes that, Konyoko, that Kojima is known for and I think this game will probably be set in the same universe but there are no other leaks available other than this video so but if you, if you look at it the texture the graphics look very promising and I think Hideo Kojima is doing something great. Hideo Kojima is doing on the way to doing something great. So uh, let's not play the full video. I'll just give you a link in the description. So another news we have is that the same news that Kojima's game overdose screenshots leak in private Discord server. So we have this 2 minutes or 30 seconds of gameplay that I've shown you before. So earlier this year, this game was, you know, it was speculated that this game was in production. And this is the main character that uh, was also in Death Stranding from 2019. She is the main character in this over project overdose that Hideo Kojima is working on. So now in the next news, we also have a thing about Hideo Kojima that he breaks silence on Abandoned, a game that was speculated under his production. Cobra's race is really quite a nuisance. So now we have that Hideo Kojima has spoken openly for the first time about the controversial indie title Abandoned and the theory that he is involved in some way. So speaking on this podcast... Uh, as a part of a new episode featuring Geoff Kegley during the which the pair talked about gaming rumors. The Death Stranding director, Hideo Kojima, director addressed the speculation that he was involved in Abandoned, a horror game from the developer Blue Box Studios. So, you know, users just kept sending him pictures of this son, Kojima said, and they still send me collages and deep fake images like 20 a day. It's really quite a nonsense. So this is like uh, Kojima just stepped away from these rumors that uh, he is not connected with Hassan or anything like that. So um, Hassan has previously de developed an exercise app, the description of which listed it as a personal training app, which sent devotees to the subreddit into panic over the idea that this was in a fact a reference to PT. So I, I, I think this is just uh, this is just a nuisance that the fans are doing. So uh, the Hideo Kojima has already cleared that he is not something in, involved in this project so for the next news we have uh, square enix announced symbiogenesis a playable nft collectible art experience so in my previous video i have told you guys about the trademark that is square enix filed that is called symbiogenesis and now we have the official logo for it and this game is just a collectible art experience this is nothing like what i expected i thought from the logo from the trademarked logo I thought that this game was going to be something like a zombie game or anything like that but this is only an nft collectible art experience so now in this comments people are laughing and square enix has been taking else left and right and i'm loving it and we have another user saying zero percent interest and another person saying i'm interested interested in watching it fall so uh, there is this link here uh, if you go into this we have this website that Square Enix has announced a playable NFT collectible art experience and this is like a new franchise like they're trying to hype it up by saying that this is a new franchise this is a new game but uh, ultimately this is not 
it's not a really game like this is all near collectible application you can say so symbiogenesis is described by the company as its first digital collectible art project designed from the ground up for web3 fans according to square enix symbiogenesis is set in the self-contained world world uh, where a quite cast of characters symbiosis all of which can be collected as digital world like this is just i think this is just bull crap and square enix is trying to hype up uh, us hype up i uh, create a hype by using this cool name cool looking name to you know to just lure us away from this game and uh, in the same uh, they also say that square enix says sales of the symbiogenesis nfts will begin in spring 2023 alongside a free browser x service i i think nobody's really interested in this are you interested in this let me know in the comments below so uh, this is all another like uh, NFT collectible art project Symbiogenesis untangle this story for spring 2023 this is like the 30 second teaser that is like you know that is the same poster that just I've shown you previously so this is it this is I think complete brood crap so for the next news we have Apple is reportedly hiring game devs for its AR VR push. So uh, it's long been claimed that Apple is preparing its own headset. So we know that Apple is probably going to enter into the console gaming market and also into the VR market. So Apple has reportedly hired the co-founders of a mixed reality mobile studio as it continues to work on its virtual reality and augmented reality plans. So Apple may be creating iOS games and Apple TV games that support this. So they will be competing against consoles in the near future, I think. So uh, in this, uh, they also have uh, information on a new game that Pladio's most notable title is Evo, an iOS game in which players direct a sentient avocado through a series of real world environment by drawing lines for it to follow as seen in this gameplay footage so this is like a two minutes gameplay footage of the ios game so i'll put this link in the description and this is like you are playing as an avocado in the vr so i think this experience will be enjoyable and apple knows how to attract customers so i think they're going to succeed in it so the game has received mainly positive reviews on the app store with an average rating of 4.3 across 1600 reviews so that's not bad at all so i think apple is going to compete with playstation and xbox in the near future so for the next news, we have Siphon Filter 3 for PS5, PS4, Ghost Tree created in Korea. So when I first saw this news, I thought that Siphon Filter 3 Remastered is coming, but it's not. The original Siphon Filter 3 game is coming to PS Plus. So here we have the game rating and the administration committee of the Korea has rated Siphon Filter 3 for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, suggesting the PlayStation title will soon join the PlayStation Plus Classics catalog. So just to let you guys know that if you don't have a ps3 lying around and you want to play this game so you can uh, quickly play, play this game in these upcoming months in ps4 and ps5 so for the next news we have the most hyped up news of this of today so we have that amd launch launches rdna3 rx 7900 xt and xtx it's next gen gpu and tech so uh, amd just launched their new graphics card that will complete alongside with our, our rtx 4090 from nvidia and the price for this one are really 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 alluring so 899 for the radeon rx 7900 xt and 999 for the 7900 xtx so this is for 8k gaming and both 4k gaming and the 999 the price 999 seems really good to me because the 1490 price you know, exceeds 1400 1500 dollars so that's really a, a lot of money like that's like 1.5 times money of this rtx uh, rx 7900 xtx so uh, in this specification we have uh, other things mentions that the 7900 xtx is the upper well upper model that we have 24 gigabytes of gddr6 and we have uh, 20 gigabytes on the xt version so in this uh, you can see this uh, difference here by pausing here and uh, they're all going to be shipped in december 3 and uh, they are all based on the rdna3 architecture so if i just show you the pictures from the launch we have this xtx the the, the massive cramped up gpu that will compete with rtx 4090 i think and the rtx the rx 7900 xt will compete with rtx 4080 i think so this has for 24 gigabytes of vram while the xt has 20 gigabytes and then we have high performance 4k ray tracing with the xtx version 
as we can see the dying light 2 ultra with rt settings the 7900 xtx gets 72 fps on 4k that is like a massive number and dying light 2 is also a very demanding game we all know that and i think that I don't really think that this they just showed it on stage that 8k gaming is now also possible and more than like 60 fps is possible and we have hitman 3 ultra artery settings gets in, getting 89 fps on 4k with ray tracing on that is that is massive like that is huge like that's like a slap for the nvidia that they are getting their pay uh, they're making us pay 1500 dollar to get uh, 4k ray tracing on their uh, gpu so on the next page we have that rx7 900 xtx high refresh rate gaming so we have that valorant reached around 700 fps FPS on 4K. Hitman 3 reached around 27 F 275 FPS with FSR, of course, and Modern Warfare 2 reached 306 FPS. That is insane, guys. So I think that AMD just got the upper hand from AMD here, and uh, they are the they have also shown the GPU architecture here. And this is the first chiplet GPU that they are claiming to be 15% higher frequency with 54% higher performance per watt high performance and it is 61 teraflops that is freaking huge like that's like 8k 60 fps in maybe older games not in the modern games but maybe some year older games you can you can get easily 8k 60 fps so we have like display display port 2.1 for gaming in 4k and beyond so this that is uh like introducing today they have introduced amd hyper rx so that is like the one click for faster frame rates and lower latency so this is for the competitive gamers though who are willing to play in higher refresh rate so this will just reduce the latency of your gaming needless to say so uh, these are the things that amd launched and i think amd just got the upper hand compared to nvidia so that's all for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe and like and also comment about your opinion on these topics and uh, keep an eye on the channel for more gaming news thank you and bye